Hello, Magic players. It's Corn. We're doing this again. Doing the premiere draft. Because as long as I have the gems for it, I may as well, right? That's This is how I play MTG Arena. Is If I have the gems, I draft. If I have the coins, I draft. If I don't have the gems, if I don't have the coins, okay, fine, I'll play Constructed. And sometimes I play Constructed because it's legitimately fun. I had a lot of fun with my little One Punch Man combo deck, but I'm getting a little bored with that. The most fun deck I ever played was uh, Boros Burn in Standard a long time ago. Um... Uh, Boros Burn in, uh, in Modern was actually a lot of fun, too. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, exile up to one other target creature until it leaves. If a creature is put into exile this way, return each other card exiled a limousine to the battlefield under its owner's control. So in general, you want to exile one of your opponents. It's a weird Oblivion Ring, but it's still an Oblivion Ring, so it's pretty solid. Murder, also really good. I'm picking that just because it's a rare, basically. Kill shot is good. Crowbar is good. Girder Goons is good. Mr. Orfeo, this early on, I'm not too crazy about. Girder Goons. Rooftop Nuisance. Got a lot of good cards here. Rooftop Nuisance, one of the greats. I'm going to turn my AC down. It needs to cool down in here. I'm too hot. Um, the only reason I'm going for Crowbar is because I don't see anything else that's really crazy. Girder Goons is good. Strong Arm is good. Uh, yeah. Again, I don't see anything that's really that great. Sparrow's Adjudicators is really good, actually. I've seen that do a lot of work. 5-drop, 4-4. Four, four. Has some interaction. Witness Protection is pretty good. It's basically removal. Are we going in on brokers already? Target creature you control gets plus one O. Oh. It's a fight spell or draw two cards. Gathering throng can be good. Refuse to yield can be good. We'll get this just in case. Quaza. Quaza's really good. Rock's Pummeler is also really good. All right, so we're in white, blue, something. That's what this is looking like. Let's get the Obscura storefront. Picking lands over other things. Not exactly sure what we're doing. So far, everything's at least white. Um... A little chat is pretty good. Broker's Veteran is pretty good. Rock's Pummeler is really good. If I am going like four colors, then I probably do want Storefront. I don't have to be in green right now. I don't even have to be in blue, actually, but... All right, well, that's what we picked. Uh, prize fight, I think. Fake Your Own Death is also pretty good. Don't have enough creatures to support any kind of a deck yet, though. So in that case, Connoisseur or Broker's Initiate. It's Broker's Initiate, either way I go, can be good. Parcel. 
Another parcel. I feel like Cabaretti Initiate probably isn't worth it. Or the family could be. Well, with enough lands and enough mana fixing, I could run four colors, but... It seems bad. It really depends what I see going forward. Like, if I hit an on-color rare for brokers, I'll go with that. If I get an on-color rare for, uh, uh, Obscura, then I'll go with that. I'm still calling them Esper and Bant most of the time, but... Trying to get with the new names. Yeah, I guess I'll grab Refuse to Yield. Maybe. I don't know. Parcel is also a removal spell, is the thing about it. Like, having too many parcels is not the worst. It still feels kind of crazy to run three of it. Running Mono Ominous Parcel. The Libs. We might end up against the Libs. Vigilante Justice. Pummeler is good. Seraph is good. Fleet Foot Dancer. Well. Well, well, well. Ballroom Brawlers is also really strong and doesn't force me to decide if I want to go into red as well. But it might just be powerful enough to make me make that decision. I think Darling of the Masses is the one to go with here. Jewel Thief is also really good. Alright, now we also have to think about red. Target creature other than Elegant Entourage. I do think that's actually kind of better, just because it gives tokens. Oh, man. So if I do go with the blue-black... Like, if I go with black for Quaza, then I get murder here. If I'm not going that way, then I get either Fencer or Crier, I think. Probably Fencer. Let's pretend we're cutting Quaza. Let's pretend we're just cutting blue all together. Where am I at? I think I would still splash for Adjudicators. But this would just be planes at that point. Fencer is good with Darlene. Uh, whenever you cast your first instant sorcery, exile one at random from your graveyard. Copy each card exiled with it. Well, that's a meme. I'm not running that. Probably get kill shot. Racer's Ring, also good for the fixing, but... Right now I don't have enough playable cards that that's really worth it. To get lands. Plus with three parcels, I'm doing decently. Um, kill shot. Think kill shot or wrecking crew. Light them up. Take to the streets. I don't know. How's my actual curve? Oddly heavy towards one drops just because of parcels. Um, warm welcome. Antagonize. Antagonize is a pretty good buff spell. Another parcel definitely ain't it. Patch up is literally dead right now. Warm welcome's decent. It does also give me a citizen token. Skycrier, bouncers beat down. X is the greatest power among them. If it would die, exile it this turn. That doesn't actually get around shield counters, does it? Come grabbing the sky crier. Just to have a little bit of flying. Rakish Revelers, I think, is the right choice here. Prize fight is good, but that is better. I'm not probably running blue. 
if I am, witness protection is the choice. Another rakish revelers, huh? I don't know. I feel like I do need some early game creatures, but revelers are really good. Cabaretti Courtyard is perfect fixing, so let's go with that. Multiple warm welcomes. Does kind of help deal with the early game. The rest on the bottom in a random order. I should have enough creatures that, uh... That, like, this is pretty much always gonna hit. If I dig five, at least I'm hoping I'll have enough creatures for that. Uh, Wrecking Crew came around. Very nice. Cut one parcel... Who knows if I'll actually run that? Probably not. I'm not gonna run that. Remember you cast a multicolored spell, create a treasure, then you may pay Wooberg. If you do, play it without paying its mana cost. Um... One, two, three, four, five multicolored spells. That's just not that good. Like, all it does is make a treasure, basically. I feel like Libation is the right choice here. Good buff spell. I would like to have the Mayhem Patrol. I would really like to have the Mayhem Patrol. To actually even out. Because I have so few early game cards. But Libation is really good. It makes a dude and it's a buff spell. Stimulus Package is on color... Civil Servant is really good, too, considering I have a bit of a citizen theme going on. Stimulus Package gonna wheel, though. Is Stimulus Package likely to wheel? Do I have anything that also makes treasures, though? I don't have anything that makes treasures other than Stimulus Package right now. So I think Civil Servant is actually better. Roastmaster wheels, I might pick that up. Prize fight? Nope, that's gonna be Rocco. Rocco is the guy. Rocco for seven to get Fleetfoot Dancer. That's that's part of the plan now. Oh, if I could splash black. Can I splash black? Can I splash black? What's in the sideboard? I have to splash blue and black. Never mind. Never mind. It just isn't possible. It just isn't. I could theoretically have Mass Bandits as a splash card, but that seems bad. Don't want any more ominous parcels. I could have gone mono parcels, which would be kind of silly. Take the civil servant here. Again, we do have something of a citizen theme, because that's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11 citizens? Yeah, with 11 citizens, that's pretty good. Again, I don't have the treasures to support Jetmere's Fixer. Otherwise, I might pick him. But I do have Courtyard. Ah, Rafine's Informant is a pretty strong 2-drop. Fiend's Informant is pretty strong to drop. Uh, Sticky Fingers. I already have a Wrecking Crew. And a pretty, pretty big glut of uh, five drops. Take out Pinions. Hit you! Hit you! 
Uh, Dapper Shield Mate's actually pretty solid. I do like Rafine's Informant, though. Roastmaster. Huh. Which one of these am I more likely to actually run? Well, a little late now. I have too many cards. Could probably cut Adjudicators, since it's off color. Could probably cut Fencer, but who knows if I want to. Oh, is that the end? That was pack three. That's kind of a relief. <laughs> if I had to go through a whole other pack with this many good playables, I'd have been confused. Really wish I'd grab more fixing. But with multiple parcels, that should probably be fine. Well, I'm actually not that many over. I'm only three cards over. With two parcels, I might be able to just run it. How is the color split? Like, actually. More white than red or green. Only one double white, though. So as long as I get one each of my colors, I'm probably good. I feel like I'm more heavily in green than red. Anyway, I can change this to reflect that. No. Probably call that good then. Is the vault ready? Oh, that's cool. Wild cards. Got some wild cards. Take a look at what I got again. Just so I know what I'm playing with. Decent amount of early game creatures. Decent amount of... I guess you'd call this mid-range. Hey, well, I don't know what you'd call it, but I'd call it mid-range. Uh, this has all my colors. And it has playable cards. No excuse not to run this hand. Probably end up pitching a mountain here. Yeah, I mean, having it be a 3-2 is pretty good, but Parcel is also a potential removal spell. Uh, I'll pitch the Parcel. Though it's a 3-2, it probably still ends up trading with something, though. This is going to be a Plains. Only one double white, but... That's the only double color thing. <laughs> Rocco is not a citizen. This makes a citizen. If the opponent does nothing this turn, we warm welcome. Or crowbar. <laughs> uh... My only one drop is white, so... Crowbar does put me a little bit ahead. But this lets me get something. I think this is the way to go. Grab Roastmaster. Well, this is getting off to a good start, I think. Rocco for two for another civil servant, if I really want to go into aggro. Roastmaster Crowbar is also pretty good. He did end up going four colors. Maybe even five. Bro's gonna play a forest next turn. What you want to do, whitey four? You don't hear much about whites. I feel like the only place I've heard white really, like, you know, like the ghosts white, is in uh, Lord of the Rings 
And even then, only in the books and the video games. I don't think you hear anything about them in the movies. A barrow white. Might have been something about, uh... There might have been whites in The Witcher. Okay. Well, that's mildly annoying, but Roastmaster gets me in there. Um... I think Roastmaster Crowbar is probably the way to go. If I swing out, that gets me in for four. Even if I lose the Rafine's Informant, don't know how much that actually matters at this point. Because, like, he's going to block there and take four. Right? Do I just swing with Civil Servant for the life game? Like, he may as well block. But Rakish Reveler is gonna burn him for two. Rocco's gonna burn him for two. Did I end up with two Roast Masters? Because then drawing a land would mean Rocco for three for Roast Master. And then just playing creatures is gonna push this game real quick. Unless he has a board wipe, I think I'm in a pretty good position here. I should have swung out that turn. Instead of getting him for zero, I'd have got him for four. He'd be at seven. Depends what he does. If he plays another big blocker, then I'm all in on the roast master plan, which is rough. He can't use Glamour Thief for... Oh, well, that's decent. It's not so good when I'm this far ahead in life totals, but it's still decent. I wish I could check my list. I don't remember if I have two Roast Masters or not. Sheesh. Oh, no. If I Rocco for three and I don't have another Roast Master, I'm going to feel so stupid. Because then I could have waited for Fleetfoot Dancer. Alright, I do still think I probably rock O for 3 here. Let's hope we have a second Witty Roast Master. And if we don't, then we'll just have to make that decision from there. Oh, he's does he have a kill spell for the Roast Master? Because then I really need to find another one. Build himself. Sure. Yes. I do have another Roast Master. Might be better to have the Flyer. Uh, nah. We'll get the Roast Master. Because he's clearly scared of it. Um. He locks there, but he still takes six. All right, four color guy. Maybe at the advantage now, but that's not gonna last a whole lot longer. If he manages to stabilize, I don't see a lot of ways I can win. Because I don't have call in a professional. You know, I kind of underestimate this card. Like, that is a lot of uh, mana acceleration. Join the Maestros. There we go. And he's going to use it to get back the Ilgon Bad, probably. Nope, Murder. Still pretty good. 
Except he doesn't have the double black to cast it. Um, let's play Rakish Revelers. It'll burn him for two. Let's think, he has three blockers. One, two, that's new. Three, four, five. Do I have to try for lethal here? I feel like I have to try for lethal here. If he has a kill shot, man, say la vie. Exotic pets, that's even better than kill shot here. I lose everything, don't I? Maybe holding back was the right play. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, I guess I was supposed to hold back that turn and play around, um, play around kill shot or exotic pets. Although I'll be honest, Exotic Pets was not on my mind at all. Three cards left, one of them's a murder. I don't know what I hope to draw. Yeah, see, now he can actually bounce the uh, Rakish Revelers. Fleetfoot Dancer does not do it here. Turn up to one target non-land permanent. So it can bounce itself. That'd be kind of funny. Let's play the Revelers and the initiate. Now, I wonder if he realizes that the initiate is actually kind of a bigger threat than the revelers. He probably doesn't just throw his murder, though. I would think. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. So I do have enough to activate Broker's Initiate and equip Crowbar. Yeah, I'll just eat the six. You're in much more danger than I am, guy. All right, that's what I figured. At this point in like stabilizing in the game, that is probably his better play. He's gonna make me spend my mana. Like, if he's smart, he makes me spend my mana. Sure. If that be the case, we're gonna equip that over. I can't attack here, but he is at very low life. In terms of life totals, I'm winning, but in terms of what's going on on the board, he is definitely winning. So we're at something of an impasse. If I can draw, like, another Rakish Revelers, uh, I took out Gilded Pinions, unfortunately. Another Parcel, even, would do a lot of good here. wonder why he didn't play the Snooping Newsy. That would have been really good. Did he value a land over the Snoopy Newsy? Because that's... <gasps> a little confusing. A 
Like, he can start chunking my life total down pretty quickly if he starts swinging with the, uh, shakedown heavy. That's neat. I can just kill it as well. Like, does he know that I can just kill it? Then copy each card exiled with it. Um... Arcane Bombardment means him getting to do lots of things, so... I think I'm just gonna kill that. Right here, right now. Civil Servant can't get in right yet. He has lands for days. He can start sacrificing them to draw. I would sacrifice the blue-white one first, if I'm him. Yeah, because you might end up needing that double black. I don't know if he has another murder, but usually... Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty dang good. Um, that's another way to start chunking my life total down. Only by three, as opposed to six. So if I'm him, I think I start swinging with the shakedown heavy. Dude has a dragon thing behind him. Oh, this girl's so happy about him. He has brass knuckles on his belt and a boxing glove. Like, take your pick. Are you gonna use a boxing glove or are you gonna use brass knuckles? Plasma jockey. I wonder why he chose to blitz that. I'm not gonna block. I'll take three. Maybe because it's not that worthwhile a card to actually play out and he'd rather draw something like another removal spell or something. Celebrity Fencer is decent. It's another for lethal. So I have three things that can hit for lethal. Maybe I didn't need to destroy Arcane Bombardment. So far, it wouldn't have made a difference, though. He is drawing. The dude is drawing cards. Did I not get a Luxurious Libation? Because Luxurious Libation is probably the card to draw here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. That means whatever he doesn't block, I would libation. That is very rough, though. That is like... That's an eggs in one basket strategy, which is what I did earlier, and it definitely did not turn out in my favor. If I just held back, I probably would have won this by now. Well, two creatures? No, I definitely would have won this by now. Oh, that's good, because it lets me pitch this land and hopefully get something useful instead. Let's him look at the top card that I'm about to draw. I hope it's not a land. Sure. I don't want to discard a non-land when I have a land, because any non-land is better, yeah. If he has a counter spell, then it sucks to suck, but whatever. Uh, no attacks. Although next turn, one, two, three, four. Another exotic pets? Sheesh. That's pretty good. So he's gonna start slowly whittling my life total down. I'm gonna have to eventually attack. And that's rough. Wrecking Crew and Fencer are the best ones right now. All that does is give him more mana. Sure, that's pretty good. I don't think I have any way to directly deal damage, but Libation on Wrecking Crew, I think, wins this for me. 
really hope I actually picked luxurious libation and I'm just not, you know, going insane thinking that I actually have this card that'll win me the game when I don't. Fleetfoot Dancer could potentially... No. No, Fleetfoot wouldn't do it. Skycrier might. Skycrier might actually have me outdrawing my opponent because he only has 12 cards left in his deck. Five, six, seven, eight. I can make us both draw two a turn, so he'd be dead in four turns. Probably do that end of his turn. He can't swing with heavy then, because if my strategy is to draw out, like have him draw his deck, then I don't. Then I'll let him draw with the shakedown heavy every turn. Okay, this is good. He's still digging. I don't know what he's digging for. He's digging for an answer for the Sky Crier. Question is like, does the Sky Crier actually pressure him enough that he has to start attacking? He's attacking with the 2-2. Two -two. He's going to join the Maestros. Because I might have Libation, I think it's smart to do this. Because Libation on Skycrier or Wrecking Crew just wins me the game. Cancel that. Red, red, green, white. Let's both draw. Come on, li libation, no libation, sure. Nothing has reach. Pass. Skycrier gives me two different ways to win right now. I can either have him draw his deck in a few turns or I can just kill him in two turns by attacking His four threes are not big threats to me he does have enough things that like if he swings out I do have to think about my blockers real carefully if he actually gets a card out of his deck with that then that's good okay cool 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 Guild Opinions, so now me flying over for the win is no longer an option. Which I'm alright with. It's him drawing out is probably a better option anyway. I don't even know if Libation on Wrecking Crew would be game. But pretty close to it, because I feel like I'd be giving him what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So next turn, I could give him plus 9, plus 9. That's 13. Like, you'd have to just know to block with everything. Or have a kill spell. That's the thing that I'm really scared of. If he has a kill spell, then. Not so much all hope is lost, but at that point, things are really rough. I don't think he's figured out that I'm trying to draw him, get him to draw himself to death at this point. But I think I've got him next turn or the turn after. Sure. Tax, defending player may have you draw a card. If they do, untap it, which I'm happy with. I uh, will let you draw a card. Have your opponent draw a card? Yes. Definitely. Draw a card. Be my guest. Don't think he knows what's happening. 
This is such a sneaky way to win in, uh, in Limited. It's very sneaky. No one expects to draw themselves to death. Darling of the Masses is pretty decent. Um, but pretty decent is not as good as winning the game. I think, because if I do this, he has one... If he draws, and then I make him draw two... Assuming Skycryer lives. Hmm. Still think this is the better play. Because it makes him not be able to attack good. Yeah, we'll play Darling of the Masses. We're not going to attack. No attacks. And then I can use Cryer to force him to draw one more turn. Then on my next turn, I can force him to draw two, which would put him at zero cards, and then he just loses on his next turn. Shattered Seraph is pretty good, but that's not good enough. I wonder if he's figured it out yet. It doesn't really indicate that you have less cards in your deck until pretty late. Hopefully he swings with the shakedown heavy. All that would would all that would do is speed it up so that I win during my next turn. If he's smart, he swings out. Even then I still don't think that's good enough. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, if he's smart, he swings out. There goes Shakedown Heavy. Um, past blockers, block here, block here, block here, block here. Those just bounce off each other. Block, actually block here so those bounce off each other block here block here and block here because yeah yeah that'll do it I don't know what he can do to win at this point. There's probably something, right? Like, there's got to be something. He only has two blockers, so... Assuming this combat goes the way it goes, then I'm winning next turn just by swinging. Knockout blue, sure. That doesn't really matter. GG. GG. That was a long way to win a game. That was a very long, drawn-out way to win a game. Kind of ridiculous, actually. I'm a little annoyed that that's how that went. I did win, though. I won the first game with the deck in a rather uh, unorthodox way. And that's not the first time I've actually won a game that way. By just having the opponent mill themselves out. 
Even with, like Skycrier is a weird wing condition. Uh, I do have all my colors because of Rakish Revelers, and I do have a Libation, and I do have two of the red ETB Citizen Burn guy. Woody Rose. Ow. Bit my lip. Woody Rose Master. I'd like to draw my version of that land. The uh, Cabaret -y Cabaret. Would be kind of a nice top deck. Um. I don't think I play this early just to get a counter to use this with. I think I'd rather save it as a combat trick. Play Civil Servant. If I draw a mountain, sure, I can play Exhibition Magician. If not, I think I just swing for two, use Rakish Revelers. Yeah. He could be playing around Warm Welcome. Kinda doubt it, though. He did make a treasure, so he has a 5-drop, probably. That's pretty good. If he has multiple sacrifice things... Ooh! That's neat. That's a little bit too jiggly, though. Like, they could have had it be a little more subdued. Does he have a kill spell? He's kind of acting like it. Fatal Grudge. Okay, um... I could... Luxurious Libation for zero... To make a dude... To sacrifice the dude. Is Civil Servant really worth that much to me, though? I don't... Oh, no. I think I do. Confirm zero. That way I can keep the Civil Servant. Parcel is really good. Um... I think I'll start with this, though. Yeah, I think I'll start with this. Get some life gain going. That may have been a terrible, terrible misplay. Not sure Civil Servant is worth it. That's a funny play. That's neat. Alright, uh... I don't know, Parcel Crowbar. The thing is, if I play the Parcel, I want to crack the Parcel. Um, I could also play Crowbar. I can't play it and pop it. I can swing with him. I can swing with both of them, but that seems bad. I think I play Parcel Crowbar. Swing with Just Civil Servant. Tap him. Sure. And then play... Crowbar. And Ominous Parcel. If I draw a land, then I don't have to crack the parcel right away. Oh, that's pretty good. Actually, that's more than pretty good. That's really, really good. Um, that's not the land I would have preferred. Um, but let's just play Celebrity Fencer for now. Fiend Silencer's pretty good. Kinda wanna Rocco for three. 
Who knows? That seems like an odd choice. If I play Revelers, he would have to give up quite a bit to be able to deal with the Fencer. Like, he'd have to double block there, just to deal with one creature. Doesn't seem very good. If he has fake your own death, well, oh well, you know? Oh, he's just gonna give up the bookcase, okay. Think that's fine with me? I don't have red mana now. Which means I might want to crack the parcel, get a red mana, play Exhibition Magician. Or even crack it, get a red mana, and just hold up. That seems like an odd choice. I'm just not gonna block. That seems like an odd choice, too. I guess we're at pretty, both at pretty high life. Um, why wouldn't I block here? Like, even if he... Oh, because it's going to deal one damage, give it minus one, minus one. Then after he sacrifices, he's going to, like, I can take four. And if he taps that, it's like he's eating at least ten next turn. So. I wish that didn't have a sound effect. It's gross. I wonder if you can even hear that. I like this. This is this is good. Two more treasures. Does he crack them just to like just to use arsonist to kill something? If he cracks both of those to exile the Halo Scarab, then he can actually kill the fencer. Which is pretty fucking pro play, if you ask me. Yeah, look at that. Look at you, De Commando. I remember the game Star Wars Republic Commando was a lot of fun. Alright, hey man, you got me there. My turn. Are you playing with full control on or something? Uh, I guess I play the limousine? And exile his arsonist? And swing for six. Yeah, I mean... It's either that or crack this, get a mountain, play that, get a 1-1, one, one, swing. I think playing the limousine is the right choice here. Strangle, sure. Seems legit. Shakedown heavy, sure. That's a mountain. Okay, so we can probably rock over four next turn. Or I can just throw the parcel at that and swing for one. Let's just do that. Get rid of shakedown heavy. Swing for one. Sure, empty board, except I have two good artifacts. You have a gold hound, fine. Uh, make the treasure for next turn. Crew up. Pointlessly equip for one extra damage. Submit zero. If I just swing with that again, he's kind of forced to block. No, not just kind of. He is forced to block. All right, so... 
four. Let's play Rocco for Fleetfoot Dancer. Yes, please take action. Crew up and then swing. That was a fun one. That was much more traditional way of winning a game of Magic, not let's have our opponent draw their entire deck. Not even mill. Like, they got to draw and play all those cards. And we're going to pause for a minute. Wow, we already an hour? I just checked the timer there as I was coming back, and yeah, an hour into this draft. Only played two games. Whack. Ding. Ready. The Nemeral is ready. Nemeral, my nemesis. Not really, I don't know this guy. Um, yeah. I guess I'll play this. I guess I'll play this. Because it has Fleetfoot Dancer. It began as a dance battle. An improvised dance battle turned into the Vanto beatdown. Look at this dude. This dude. Alright, he went first. Good. I was like, did I just accidentally pass without doing anything? It scared me for a second. If I did, then I'm just... No. I, I didn't. I wouldn't have eight cards. I'm just tripping, man. Just tripping. I like the one Ravnica stage because stuff in the background does stuff. Oh, the lights... Oh, that's cool. There was something I didn't notice. Alright, uh, mountain. We're gonna crack that for a plains. Next turn, play Civil Servant, probably. <laughs> Kinda depends what the opponent does, but probably Civil Servant. The problem is that murder is really, really strong. And he probably has at least one copy of it. And he must actually have a decision to make. I don't think he would just be timing out to time out. Yeah. Is he thinking about holding up a murder? Is he thinking about whether to get a treasure or a citizen off of his, uh, what's it called? Exhibition magician? Yeah. He's like, do I get a citizen or do I get a treasure? Well, let's find out. Or not. Did they have, like, a role reversal here where there's a guy in the boxes and the girl is the one doing the thing? The girl is the magician and the guy is in the box instead of the other way around like it normally is? How witty. Achoo! Oh, well, that looks like a kill spell. The way he looked at the civil servant just then. <laughs> If he swings out, do I block the Exhibition Magician or the 1-1? One, one? Because I get the feeling he has a uh, fake-your-own-death. 
Bro is thinking real hard about every play he makes. Is he thinking about just sacrificing something to body dropper before combat? He shouldn't have gotten the extra timeout thing because his timer bar appeared. But that's okay, as long as he doesn't keep this up for too long. The thing is, I can tell he's actually thinking and not just being annoying. Can I say thinking? No. Only he can say thinking right now. I want to say thinking while he's thinking. Okay, that's what he was thinking about. Sure. That's pretty good. Is this a citizen? No. Uh... That's pretty good. Um, see, now Broker's Initiate is a citizen and a good blocker, but I actually can't play multiple things because, again, I'm stuck on white mana. A swing of four a turn is pretty huge. If he can't remove this thing right away, it's gonna be a problem for him. Probably play Crowbar next. Hopefully I draw planes, because then I can play Celebrity Fencer and Broker's Initiate. Look at these two together, pointy sword people. These two look like they would work well together. That one's a chick, right? I think that's a chick. I think that, that one's clearly a chick. But... They really did make, like... Maybe cat people I just think are women, but that one looks like a dude. This one looks like a chick. That's a dude. No blocks. Like, I'll take three. No problem. No problem, bro. All right, that's a way to try to stop me from swinging with Fleetfoot Dancer. Uh, let's play Crowbar. Re-equip over to the Fleetfoot Dancer. That way he would have to block it with everything if he wants to get rid of it. I think I'm making the right play here. Because he can triple block. Sure. The bro can triple block. That looks like fake your own death. That looks like he has fake your own death then. There was no really playing around it though. It was gonna happen eventually. Like, I guess I could have held it back, but then he just swung with Body Dropper. And blah, blah, blah. Probably makes a citizen here. I wish I had more white mana. Kinda not, though. I'd rather draw more powerful cards that aren't white. <laughs> Rock's Pummeler is pretty good. He still has three cards left. Depending on what he plays, I might be playing Fencer next turn. Depending on what he plays and what I draw, I should say. Maybe I should have played around that, but I don't know. It didn't feel right. If I draw a luxurious libation next turn, I'll know I was wrong. 
Oh, he's blitzing it. Why not swing with Body Dropper at that rate? He does have the mana. Brutal. You can make that a 5-5, five, five, right? It's pretty darn good. Can't afford to make me trade my Pummeler. I play Fencer, equip that. That's still not good enough. Um, let's play Pummeler. Body Dropper's really strong. Thinking he probably sacrifices the Devil Token to take away my shield counter. Still has three cards left. Forge Boss is pretty good. If he cracks the Devil Token... I would essentially be losing... Civil Servant and Pummeler Shield Counter to the Body Dropper if he kills the 1-1. One -one. But that's still right. It's still right to double block in that position. How much can I Rocco for? Four? I'd rather Rocco for five. Uh, like, I know I have good five drops. I don't know what good four drops I have. Um... Yeah, I'd really rather... You sacrifice one or more creatures, it deals two damage. Triggers only one. Two, four, six. Yeah, he can practically just kill me at that rate. Um, but he can just kill that. What else do I have that gives me lifelink is the question. Let's think. If I Rocco for five, what am I getting? Just Wrecking Crew, I think, is the option. Or Rakish Revelers. Just pretty good. I don't think I can afford to lose value by waiting a turn. So I have to Rocco for four. And who knows if that's even good enough. Darling of the Masses is pretty good. Especially with as many citizens as I have. We make it a 4 4, but that doesn't exactly help. Like, if he just burns me for two a turn, he can kill me pretty quickly. If that's the case, maybe Celebrity Fencer would have been a better choice. I'll have to look at the deck again and see what 5 drops I have. I wish he could grab something out of your graveyard. But that'd be kind of silly. Oh, I can't really attack, can I? He has too many good options. Yeah, yep. He can just burn me for two a turn. If he has any more creatures, he can pretty much just kill me that way. The only thing I really hope for here is Luxurious Libation. Because that would make the difference.
looking at that rocks pummeler, deal gone bad would go real far. Any blitz creature would go pretty far too. I would have to triple block the body dropper to make sure it dies. Darling of the masses. Does that mean he has a grizzly sigil? Makes me think he has grizzly sigil. Corpse explosion. And that's lethal. Wow, what a bro. What a freaking strategy there. He sat there and thought about that. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Like, that was a really well-executed strategy there with sacrificing creatures and whatnot. And I was also... Was I short on land that game? I don't remember. I don't think so. I'm double checking what five drops I could have got. I can't get that with Rocco, so. Rakish Revelers or Wrecking Crew wouldn't have been good enough. Wouldn't have made enough of a difference. So I don't feel too bad about that. I may end up having to put this on hold. These games are taking longer than I thought. Check out level one, the full course. Is that like another way to just play dumb games where you have to make the plays they want you to? Don't panic, 42. That's a reference to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'll keep this. I don't think I dig for a mountain right away, so I'll start with Initiate Informant. Uh... Initiate might not be the best start, actually. Because I can discard it to Informant, and it is kind of meh. So regarding the relative might of the pen and the sword, blah blah blah. Well, now the other parcel is probably what's going. No, I'll still pitch the Initiate. Like, just doesn't seem that important right now. Uh, yeah, we'll play Parcel and crack one of them for a mountain. That way I have all the mana I need. Yeah, it's like I have all the mana I need and I can play just about anything that I feel like. Come on, shuffle Fleetfoot Dancer to the top. That'd be nice. No such luck. Sure. Um. I don't really want to swing into Gathering Throng. Now that he's got that many of them, though. Sheesh. Uh, we'll grab Wrecking Crew. Make a 1-1 one, one and block. If all he does is play another Gathering Throng. No such luck. Here comes the Wrecking Crew. And... Yeah, what, uh, what does he do here? Another gathering throng. I would expect him to do that post-combat. Even if he has for the family, it's not gonna make a difference. He did not swing, okay. 
So... Let's hold up things. Him having this many cards is kind of a problem. If all he does is play Gathering Throngs, then I don't really care. Um... Sure. It'd be my own sky crier. And no attacks and turn. Still have essentially two removal spells. Echo Inspector, sure thing. That's probably what I hit with the parcel then. Just kill that. Civil Servant is half decent. Um, don't really want to swing with Wrecking Crew. I don't really want to swing with my Skycrier because it is kind of my only extra win condition right now. Six twenty-two. I'll play the Civil Servant. Sure. Ballroom Brawlers is pretty good. That's something to kill shot. Let's both draw. I like that better than uh, this. Although him getting a pie is kind of cute. I wish he had more than one thing he did. Besides just like, he does shoot confetti whenever someone uses a uh, emote or whatever you want to call those, these things. I'm not gonna do one just to, just to demonstrate. Well, why not? I'll say hello. Pew. He probably thinks I was being a dick. Breaking news, Lord Xander found dead, suspect at large. Oh, really? Oh, really? All right. Did he go with lifelink or Did he go with lifelink or first strike? He went with first strike, so we'll just block there. Bouncers beat down. pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's that was pretty good for him. He has his own civil servant. Sheesh. I really like to draw a rakish guy or whatever it's called. That'd be pretty good. Roastmaster, also decent. Uh...
tap roast master for the buff. I mean, did he know that I was going to gain life? Um... That may have been a misplay, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, that's a lot of life gain. Okay, so now he is in a position to just swing as much as he feels like. Um... <laughs> I, I don't think he meant to do that. Um... Let's both draw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Guy just don't block. Rough as that is. Green, green, white is correct. Grab another civil servant or the rocks pummeler. Grab the rocks pummeler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven attackers. Only one flying blocker. I think I'm dead. I think I have to swing with Civil Servant for lifelink, but how many ground blockers? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Four, which means one will get through. That's not that big of a deal. And I think I'd rather tap the Witty Roast Master. I think that puts me out of his range. Not by a lot, and I still have to give up the Sky Crier, but I'm still in the game at least. Maybe not. Is that exactly lethal? Because I think it is. Yep, that is exactly lethal. Not a lot I can do about that. Um, there's probably different plays I could make. But what? What's wrong with this deck? I don't even want to look because I know, yeah, I'm going to be in a bad spot if I don't win at least one more game. Other than running Adjudicators, I don't really see what else I can do. I could run Pinions, actually. Could run Pinions. And having more cards doesn't seem like a problem because I'm getting flooded anyways. Like, I keep getting flooded. Maybe not. Maybe I just got flooded that game. I tend to exaggerate these sorts of things. Just in case none of you noticed that. Please be a good hand. I guess it's good enough. This will be a forest. Three playables. Three playables is just going to have to be good enough. Chef Rocco sends their congratulations. So this thing is just a conglomerate creature.
very confusing. They make the elves and the devils look so similar. It's really just kind of absurd to try to even tell the difference. Citizens sure all look like humans, though. Maybe I was supposed to wait to play this, I don't know. But, yeah, that'll be a forest. With three playable cards, I don't think I could afford to mulligan it. But maybe I should have... Yeah, I'm gonna get flooded anyways, right? If my next card's a mountain, I'll be happy. Ledger Shredder. I will use Libation here to kill the Ledger Shredder. Yeah, if not, it's Warm Welcome. Maybe should have just done that during my own turn. This is not whenever the second spell is cast. It's whenever a player casts their second spell. Let's grab the Fleet Foot, yeah. So, Libation with Fleet Foot is good. Not sure what I want to Rocco for, if anything. I was just thinking about Skycrier, but no. It's not a citizen. Uh, don't feel like double blocking. Yeah. Do I equip over? I might equip over. Because uh, I can still afford to play Rafine's Informant. Shouldn't have used the double white, but oh well. I don't know what I'm hoping to hit. Fencer can go away, though. That can trade with the civil servant. He only has two cards left. I have three. They're all pretty active. Rocco for five can get um, Wrecking Crew or Rakish Revelers. I will take that trade. I think he knows that. I think he knows I'll take the trade, and he's thinking about doing it anyways. Nope. Glittermonger, sure. My turn. Land, swing fleet foot. So what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because that's 5. It's going to be 5 more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All he'll have is Skycrier. Kind of a blowout. <laughs> Kind of a blowout there. Just kill all your creatures, almost. I'm sure he thought, like, if I can just kill this, like, my creatures have enough toughness, he'll only be able to kill two things. Alright, now I'm in a better position, where, like, even if I lose at this point, at least I can still quick draft. Riveteers are the coolest of the uh, the clans, the the families. Well, this seems pretty good. This is going to be a forest. 
So long as the halo keeps flowing, the festivities never end. Let's get me one of them there forests. Next turn, it's going to be Civil Servant. Next turn, Magician. Next turn, Darling. Seems legit. Oh, man. That's fine. I think I still play it this way. I think that's still the right play. Unfortunately, he gets to go grab a creature. This thing's a two for one. Pretty good two for one with Jetmere's Fixer. Um, still play Darling of the Masses. Fleetfoot, he had his own Fleetfoot Dancer. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's, uh. Yeah, we have to, I think, Civil Servant for the lifelink here. That is a way if I draw a land I can kill his Fleetfoot Dancer. To shake off a tail. Oh, I get it, like someone following you. No blocks. All right, so I got the land, I can kill that, or play Revelers. Revelers are a way to trade and still have my removal spell. It's also able to trade with Wrecking Crew. I maybe should have killed Fleetfoot Dancer while he was tapped out because he might have a uh, way around it. Beginning of your instep, put a plus one, plus one. Yeah, see, that's a way to, to buff that thing. I think I have to crowbar, equip over, and then just kill that right away. Immediately, immediately kill that. Because if it went off for even one more turn, that would be a huge deal. He doesn't want to lose his Fleetfoot Dancer, I can tell that much. If I can manage to resolve Darling of the Masses, then I'm in a decent position. Yeah, see, I could kill Jetmere's Fixer. I'm not too worried about Witty Roastmaster right now. So we'll play Darling of the Masses. Which makes my blocks a bit better. I can at least kill any of these things with primarily just citizen tokens. He's two cards left. He could crack Racer's Ring. I don't think he's gonna. Um, yeah, I'll triple block. You got a buff spell? If you do, let's see it. All right, one less thing to worry about. My turn. Very nice. Uh, two, three, one, two, three, four. If I swing with Darling of the Masses, no. Let's let's put it a different way. I don't swing with Darling of the Masses. <laughs> let's just play Warm Welcome here. Um, play my own Witty Roast Master, which 
which is a 4-2. No attacks. Cracks the racer's ring? Nope. He does not. Not sure what I hope to draw here. He is very far ahead on life totals. Very far ahead. Plays light him up. Okay. I think I probably burn his roast master here soon. Does it say tap down attacking? No. And I don't think I really want to push that right now. He's played a lot of lands that search for lands. Three. Three is a lot. Um. Fleetfoot Dancer trades with Revelers, so I'm not too worried about it. Jetmere's Fixer can potentially get out of hand. If he doesn't swing, I think I'm throwing the parcel at his Roast Master. Yeah. He can swing with Wing Shield Agent and get in for five. That probably would have been the better play for him, honestly. I'm glad he didn't see it. Because that is the play that he could pretty much kill me with. And even pretty much, he would kill me if he actually did that. He makes a treasure. No? I would have expected a treasure to buff the Jetmere's Fixer. Oh, he still doesn't see the line. That's kind of nice. Uh, I may as well play that. I don't think swinging with Rakish Revelers is smart. One, two, three. So you can make it a six, six. Hmm. I don't want to lose the wrecking crew. I think we'll chomp here. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Still getting more lands. Skycrier would be good. Uh, limousine is really good, actually. Um, if I remove his Fleetfoot Dancer, that kind of uh, puts a damper on things for him. Jetmere's Fixer can't play offense and defense. I swing with Darlene, he double blocks, and I don't care about that. So that's the choice he makes. Sure. Does he have a kill shot or something? Sure. Pass. Do have the Mysterious Limousine. He has his own Darling of the Masses. None of these are citizens, conveniently. Uh, no blocks. Am 
my turn. Rafine's informant for mill one. That's kind of annoying because I might mill something really good. Been in situations where it felt really bad to do that before. Uh... Swing with just civil servant. don't think I play this for mill one. I'd rather have some card selection, so maybe it would have been better not to play that planes. No locks. One, two, three. He can pump it three times and hit me for six, but then that's all his mana. Sure. Sure. Seems legit. My turn. Skycrier is pretty good. Skycrier might be really good. Um, Maybe should have played Informant first. But we're gonna go ahead and do this now. Okay, so it wouldn't have mattered. I was gonna mill that anyway. Probably. Probably. We'll see what else I hit. Uh, yeah. Rock's Pummeler is better. I don't really want to swing with the limousine. I swing with Darling, he double blocks and just loses the magician, so. Let's not. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Skycrier draw out is a strategy here, but I think just swinging for two in the air every turn is also pretty good. Two in the air with lifelink. Makes it pretty good. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Once. Twice. He can only do that twice, so make it a 5-5. Five, five. Once. Twice. Wait, once. Twice. Yeah. That's actually fine with me. My turn. Uh, so I'm with just Skycrier. Unfortunately vulnerable. Vulnerable to Majestic Metamorphosis, Kill Shot, Knockout Blow, Broken Wings, even. There's so many things he could have that would mess this up. Ah, it's Kill Shot. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 if I play to land, which means I do... I don't think I played a, if I already played a land this turn, then this is a terrible, terrible misplay. Less so now, but uh Let's play the Pummeler. And pass. Don't really want to swing with the limousine as long as it has this under it. He did just remove my life gain. 
Ooh, no! That kills the limousine! He gets the fleet foot back. Alright, I don't have any way to gain life now. Which means this is getting to be a dire situation. I now can't effectively swing because of cleanup crew. Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe I kind of can. All right, let's play Revelers. I think I equipped this to Darlene. Because then I can, at least theoretically, just pump out a dude every turn. Which might not be quick enough, but it might be quick enough. I need to remember, Wing Shield Agent gives flying, but Wrecking Crew has reach. I could have equipped over the pinions to, for example, the Pummeler just then. Used up the treasure for that, which might have been the better play. I don't know. I think we hope we draw Luxurious Libation. Unless I already played it this game. I don't think I did, so... Fire Your Silence hits real hard right there. So switching that over wouldn't have made a difference. Um... No reason to play that right now. I figured that was coming. I still should have swapped over the pinions. Sheesh, what is wrong with me? I have the mana for it. Just because my opponent doesn't realize what they have. Like, they could have won the game by now if they had properly used Wing Shield Agent. They definitely could have won the game by now. I think they just completely forgot about its ability. Is he gonna buff Fleetfoot Dancer, or what? Now that is not your best choice, guy. Although if you did swing with it and Wing Shield Agent, you'd be in a really good position. If I start moving the pinions around, he'll probably figure out that he could have been doing better this whole time. <laughs> Scary concept. Oh, sheesh. Does he think he can win this turn? That's eight getting in. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's exactly eight damage getting in. So if he has a buff spell, that's game. If he doesn't have a buff spell, Oh, that is one heck of a buff spell to have, too. Jeepers Creepers, yeah. Oh, and that gives Trample? Yeah. Nothing I could have done there. The dude did think hard about it, though. He thought hard about it to make sure... I mean, it might be a chick, I don't know. I just assume. But he seemed to think pretty hard about that. And then figure out, oh, well, yeah, I can win. <laughs> Alright, well, now I only have enough gems for quick draft. So the next one's gonna be a quick draft. Restless Riveteers can always find a sparring partner in the sprawling Trezo warehouse. Well, that was kind of fun. Uh, didn't do so well, but that's okay. That's, sometimes that's how it goes. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and like and subscribe, and other than that, peace out, y'all.